Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. The U.S. military has said it would be looking into Syrian Observatory for Human Rights claims that at least 52 civilians were killed in U.S.-led airstrikes near the Syrian border town of Kobani. SOAR said the U.S. airstrikes killed civilians in its campaign against ISIS. The U.S. air raids also killed seven armed men belonging to groups fighting against ISIS and Assad regime forces. Hundreds of protesters have broken Baltimore's curfew. Several were arrested the day after Baltimore's chief prosecutor filed criminal charges against six police officers. The officers were involved in the death of a black man, Freddie Gray. Gray died after suffering spinal injuries in police custody. It is absolutely vital. U.S. President Barack Obama commented on the case, stating that it was vital for the truth to come out. Officials say they have regained control of Jalisco State a day after armed men suspected to be from the Jalisco New Generation Cartel killed three Mexican soldiers in a helicopter attack. 19 people were injured and 19 suspects have been detained. Mexican President Enrique Piña Nieto recently started Operation Jalisco to increase security in the state that plays a major role for the country's economic growth. German President Joachim Koch has said he is considering Greece's demand for reparations for damages caused during World War II. He stated that he understands Greece's compensation claims and called on his country to examine the demands. According to figures presented by Greece's Deputy Finance Minister Dimitris Mardas, Germany owes the country up to 287.7 billion euros in reparations, 10.3 billion of which are for forced loans taken by Nazis. Thanks for watching. Melis Amber Akun, TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.